Hi everyone, it's uh, DC here. This is part two of my plasma power generator transformer. Um, the idea is that uh, electric is transformed from one form, which is DC over here, to high voltage over here, and then back to AC over here. So it's it's a conversion unit. So we're looking at converting one energy to into another energy. I hope that's clear. Uh, we're using today um, a system of two spark gaps, um, high voltage through two spark spark gaps. From my last video, it's the Morin motor setup with with a 24 volt DC motor, then the washing machine pump, capacitor, 10,000 volt transformer, and uh, some thicker cables now which are um, conducting the 10,000 volts to the end of the fluorescent tube. We've got a scaffold tube we, and we've got a stubble field cell or coil here. Um, we've got a multimeter set up here and um, I'm just looking at electron drift here and what's going on with the electron drift. Uh, any comments welcome. I will also be pulling um, voltage off here but not today. I'm not looking at voltage today. I'm just looking at what's going on here with the electron drift so uh, that's it we'll fire it up we're going to be firing firing it on 24 volts and um, then what I'll be doing is altering the spark gap here and then looking at, at the um, output how it affects the output here this is the the heart of the matter is this spark gap well the two spark gaps here one spark gap here being the primary and the secondary spark spark gap being the fluorescent tube okay power on okay the spark as you can hear is just about making it across now here I'm going to close close this gap up here and uh, I'll start closing the gap up in a minute and then I can get this so you can see what's going on okay I'm, I'm slowly closing the spark gap and uh, it's very sensitive so you sometimes you go past the sweet sweet spot now it's, it's obviously jumped up now still closing the gap Gaps at about three mil. Just closing it gently. Closing it. It is jumping around a little bit. I'm only going to close it a little bit more now because we've got a fair whack out of that. Okay. Now we're on 24 volts, but I'm just going to reach over if I can and still keep that on camera. I'm going to turn the voltage up now the 30 volts thirty six volts and the power consumption is about 75.8 watts okay that's about it for today I'm only just looking at this this here and um, if anybody can tell me what's happening here that would be great because um, I'm looking at it that it's uh, it's very powerful okay that's it for today folks so it's uh, DC signing off and I hope you've enjoyed the video I'll perhaps just turn the light out, see what's happening with the light out. I'll try not to electrocute myself here. <laughs> and there's the spark gap. Okay, thanks for watching.